Hey, welcome back to the OJ Today. You know, over the past couple of decades, the Georgetown Raiders have been one of the most consistent organizations in the OJHL, consistently producing NHL draft picks. Uh, first overall selection, Jack Hughes, is a recent example. Consistently sending players onto the NCAA and consistently challenging for the Buckland Cup championship. Now, although the past couple of seasons I've seen the Raiders drop off a little bit in terms of competitiveness. They're right back there again this year, looking like a legitimate threat. And we take a closer look at the Raiders in this week's Team Spotlight. And this segment is brought to you by Clean Quip. Clean Quip is the official disinfectant supplier to the OJHL. That might be a break, Ishmael. Coming in short handed to breakaway Ishmael shoots. He scores! Short handed breakaway goal. And the Raiders now tie it at two. There have been many changes in Georgetown this season. A new coaching staff, a significantly different roster from the team that played two seasons ago, and a different mindset as the club attempts to get back to its winning ways really have a, a really good feeling about this group. We, um, we, we've tried to come in and instill um, a care and a belief system in what we're doing. Um, it's a new group, there's a lot of you, you know, new staff, new players. Um, we're trying to build the culture here and we're a very quick team. We tried to build a, a college type of team where we're playing north, we're playing fast. Compared to two years ago, our scoring has gotten better. Um, so I think that'll be a positive for us and I think uh, it'll be nice going into games knowing that we can get up on teams early with speed. So far so good. The Raiders shot out to one of the best starts in the OJHL this season. They've cooled off a touch recently but still sit well above the 500 mark in the incredibly competitive West Division. And it's a couple of Raider veterans that have been leading the way for them. Eric Russell tops the team in scoring. Eric Russell shoots, he scores! The rocket by Russell, Eric Russell! Excited to have Eric Russell back. Uh, he will be one of our leaders, no doubt. He's another player that we're expecting uh, a lot of good things from. And like I said, he's poised for a breakout year. and. Um, we're, we're excited with what he brings to the table. Uh, Robbie Strachan is a is a big force on the on the on the back end. Um, obviously a defenseman. He's, he's standing at six five, six six now. For a big man, he skates very well. He's got great vision. He's got a really good shot. Strachan anchors a defensive core that's been one of the OJ's best. The Raiders have allowed the third lowest goal total in the league. They've been backstopped by the duo of Michael Kingo and Sebastian Labora. Angelitas jumped at the chance to acquire Labora when he became available last spring. Sebastian's won two of his last three playoff rounds that he competed in. You know, kind of hopped off the page to me, and we were very fortunate that he was available coming out of that Alberta League in February, and we're, we're absolutely thrilled to have him there. Jeff Angelidis is a veteran OJHL coach known for developing top-end talent. Try to avoid going southbound here. All right, we want to go in the northbound lanes here. We don't want to be going against the green. Yeah, he's great. Uh, he's a lot of fun. It's a totally new coaching staff, uh, so it's a bit to get used to. But I mean, I don't know. Everybody's good so far, and everybody gets along, so I'm excited. Angelitas brought on former NHLer Jason Ward as an assistant coach who knew the Raiders track record of success. You know, I've been in the Brampton area for the, the last 10 years or so. Uh, so you definitely hear about them. Uh, and I'm just excited to be a part of that, uh, that history and growing that history to, you know, achieving our goals once again. Ah, yes, the history. Here to celebrate Georgetown, the Georgetown Raiders are Buckland Cup champions! Georgetown has been one of the OJHL's top franchises over the past two decades, winning the Buckland Cup as recently as 2017. 
The last two seasons, however, the team has struggled. Angelitas is determined to bring championships and excitement back to the town. It's an intimidating building. It's an intimidating team. I've, I've had playoff runs here that have ended here. We're going to do everything in our power to get prepared for playoffs, make playoffs, and then, like I said, anything that we can do, push the, in the playoffs. We, we want to get this place jumping again, and we want to bring the Raiders back up, up top, and have a burning desire to win. The whole group does, and that's what we're hoping to do.